No to EU, Yes to Workers' Rights is an electoral coalition that supports workers' rights, decent public services and peace. The European Union is a threat to all these things. If anyone believes that you're going to get socialism or trade union rights from the European Union, you live in a dream world. The sole reason that the European Union was set up under the architect of Schumann was to stop socialism spreading in the first place. And the laws are made in the Council of Ministers, not in the European Parliament, and they're made in secret by a bureaucratic group of commissioners, not one of whom is elected, none of whom we can get rid of and who don't have to listen to us, a bureaucratic nightmare committed to neoliberalism. No wonder Bob Crow and Tony Benn supported No to EU. We campaign for an exit from the EU, but unlike UKIP, we support policies for the millions, not the millionaires. UKIP wants to abolish health and safety laws. No to EU wants them strengthened. UKIP wants to protect the city bankers from regulation. No to EU would take the banks into public ownership and tax the speculators. Bankers are wankers. Bankers are wankers. UKIP wants to privatise our NHS. No to EU wants to protect it. And where UKIP peddles fear and division between workers, no to EU stands for equal rights for all. Behind all the Euro babble, the EU enforces the interests of big business. The Troika, the EU Commission, the European Central Bank and the International Monetary Fund have bailed out the banks on a massive scale. And it's ordinary people who are paying the price. From Ireland, and Portugal, across to Cyprus, millions of workers have been thrown out of their jobs, public services shut down or privatised, and wages, benefits and pensions slashed. Elected governments that stood in the way of EU slash and burn policies, as in Greece and Italy, were replaced with unelected so-called technocrats. The harsh reality is that EU domination means five things. First, member countries lose the right to govern themselves. Our elected parliaments, assemblies and councils are increasingly restricted by EU law. Second, European court judgments allow multinational companies to undermine hard-won standards of pay and conditions. Third, the EU is dismantling our welfare state and public services, opening them up to European and American corporations. Fourth, the EU has created an enormous pool of migrant workers, driven from job to job and from country to country. No to EU's answer is not to attack super-exploited workers, it's to invest in the communities where people live and want to stay and to protect labour standards for everybody against greedy and ruthless employers. Finally, the EU is developing its own army to, in the words of former Commission President Jacques Delors, fight the resource wars of the 21st century. Today's unelected EU President Barroso refers to the Union as an empire. The empire's common foreign policy means that we are embroiled in one deadly fiasco after another, from Libya to Syria and now the Ukraine. No to EU opposes EU and NATO interference in the affairs of other countries. And we certainly don't want to be shackled to the fascist forces now re-emerging in Europe. They thrive on the unemployment and despair created by austerity policies. We stand instead for democratic sovereignty, for freedom for the peoples of Scotland, Wales and England to decide their own policies, including trade links with other countries around the world. Our candidates include professors and factory workers, nurses and civil servants, carers and transport staff. Equality for the working class. Our voice being heard, our needs being met, 
and our life being important too. I am standing as a candidate for No to EU, Yes to Workers' Rights in London in Rob's place. In the Uri election on May 22nd. I'm doing this not only in his memory, but also, I believe, along with so many unheard voices, that in order to achieve the kind of socialism he worked so hard for, we must withdraw from the EU empire and allow our country to be free, to head, hold its head high with equality among us all. We urge you to vote no to EU, yes to workers' rights, on Thursday, May the 22nd.